welcome to the stateless code video and in this video we're going to be setting up a salesforce development environment on a brand new or mostly brand new install of uh, ubuntu 2404 the only thing i've done so far since uh, installing the operating system is i have installed uh, visual studio code so i downloaded the uh, the dot deb version of that file and I installed it, it takes several minutes, so I'm coming into it with that started. Um, if we take a look here, if uh, we do not have Node, we do not have Java, Do not have git so uh, we're going to install all of those i have uh, more in-depth videos on installing node.js with uh, node version manager we're going to kind of breeze through these things here same thing with git i have a, um, a whole video on how to set it up and get your commits verified with github uh, for right now we're just going to install the package itself so we're going to start with node um, Node, I'm going to use NVM, and I'm going to have to install curl first. Let me clear so you can see the commands here. got curl. Now I'll paste in that command to install NVM. And then we're going to do NVM install 20. I'm going to close and reopen my terminal window so that NVM has the opportunity to register. Hit control alt T here bigger again so we've got node 20 running here next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, install Java going to um, do this but instead of JRE I'm going to do I'm not going to do it headless and I'm going to do JD, JDK instead of JRE and I want version 17 here so clear again JD that and this might take a minute I'm gonna pause here all right so Java is installed the you can see here this directory is going to come in handy later that's going to be our java home when we configure salesforce so we're going to control shift c that and then i'm going to just create a code instance here Okay, 
paste that in so that we have it available. Now I can clear. I'm going to install git. While we're installing Git in the background, the next thing we're going to do is install the Salesforce CLI, which uh, we're going to go with the uh, install via NPM version of this. Uh, I've typically not had the best of luck with the uh, kind of pre-built installer executables. I run into like e-access issues uh, with Node and stuff like that. So uh, I typically go with installing via NPM. Well, let's take a look. Git's taking a while, we'll pause and let that finish. All right, so Git has installed. We'll hit clear here. We have a Git version. We have a Java version. We have a Java compiler version clear again and then we'll paste in the npm install for the salesforce cli hit enter this takes a few minutes too we'll pause and let this finish all right so salesforce cli install has succeeded We'll do sf dash dash version and we have the Salesforce CLI version 2.42 running on node 20.13. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Visual Studio Code and we're going to not use that Java Home yet, but we're going to go into extensions here and we're going to search for Salesforce extension pack. XHR failed. There we go. Just a weird one off. wonder if expanded is a superset of we'll start with the normal one them both at the same time see what happens this again will take a couple minutes we'll pause and let this install finish all right so the uh, extension pack both that and the expanded are done installing I'm going to close and reopen VS code Take this Java home location 
and we're going to go into preferences settings uh, search for Java home it looks like it matches exactly the Linux example add that in there and then we should be able to now if I hit Shift P. Uh, not Control Shift P. Control Alt P. So and we should be able to go into here and do SF org login web. I'm going to go dash D um, to make it a dev hub and then dash A dev hub. This will be my Trailhead developer org that I'm logging into here. Again, So we have successfully logged in, eventually. So SF, let me be clear here to give us some more visual room, SF org list. So we've got our dev hub connected. Next, we're going to Develop in a scratch org. So we've got the dev hub authenticated. And authorized. I'm going to go and create a Salesforce DX project. Project will be named my LWC. We do co 
code dot. It'll open up. VS code. Actually, I need to CD into it. Now do code dot. And we will create a scratch org. demo way to go Salesforce documentation we'll look at the Salesforce CLI reference and we're looking at the org create scratch command so SF org create scratch got a file here I guess just try running it without the s argument see what happens let that scratch org creation complete all right so our scratch org is created and if you notice the date has jumped forward about six days on this so i had originally finished this video and gotten into the editing phase and uh, there was one thing that i noticed that kind of warrants a re-record of this video so uh, we're going to do an sf org list here and we've got our scratch org um, I'm going to try to do an SF org open. Actually, I'm going to hit clear because I'm right up against my SF org open. And we don't have a default environment found. So we're going to do SF config set dash dash global target org lwc demo and then we'll do another sf org open and what you're going to see here is that we had a problem loading this on Firefox. So this is a kind of default installation of Ubuntu and Firefox is installed via Ubuntu's Snap packaging system rather than uh, the apt um, 
package manager system and the way that snap sandboxes things and there's a uh, github issue open on this on force.com uh, cli right now uh, and then there's a a workaround here uh, that will will do so you have to set kind of your tmp dir um, or tempter um, to uh, home slash temp uh, rather than like your normal temp directory. Uh, so we're going to do this and what this is doing, you're setting it at the command line level at runtime. Um, so this isn't permanently setting your environment variable and it would be kind of a an anti-pattern to set your home your uh, permanent environment variable in this way because sometimes uh, you'll have packages that you snap sometimes they'll use apt so um, maybe in the future when you're watching this Salesforce will have solved this issue um, but for now this should work and open our scratch org And it did. So um, I, as you can see, that's kind of a clunky command to um, enter each time. So we're going to show another alternative that you can do uh, to resolve this issue um, if you don't want to enter this every time you um, you run SF org open. So we're going to do sudo apt install we're going to install the chromium browser oh we're installing the snap though i don't want the snap See if I can abort this. We'll pause and let this finish. So Chromium is installed. I restarted my computer. I don't expect this to work. So we're going to, we're in settings here, um, default apps. So to go back from home if you are start just starting in settings. I'll do apps and default apps. And we're going to choose Chromium here. And this is likely still not going to work because when you install Chromium via apps, it um, selected the snap instead of the apt package and we're in the same problem now with chromium uh, so there's another way to go about this and that is to install chrome here down the chrome we'll do the Debian Ubuntu version What it did there, um, it added 
the repository to the at sources list. So if we go cd as sources list d. When it installs, it'll do that. So we'll go downloads. Clear. Slash Google Chrome stable might have fat fingered that I did. a bit when I was dealing with the chromium stuff. Pause and let this install. All right, so our installation has completed. Hit clear here. Now we'll see if we have Chrome as an option here. We will make Chrome the default browser for this purpose so that we can Hopefully, open our org now. Don't care. All right, and so we have resolved that issue. So, um, if you're going to or, um, execute that fairly frequently, it is probably worth making, if you're not opposed to having non-open source, non source software on your Ubuntu installation, uh, installing Chrome and using Chrome for this, uh, just because it's um, tedious to set that environment variable every time you run the command. So now that we've got that, we're going to go back and we'll launch code again. We will open Trailhead, my LWC folder.
get there in here too. And uh, we're going to create a lightning web component. Control shift P here. Lightning web component. Try it again. It is not, there we go. Hello world in the default directory. for it to complete. It has, we're gonna import API. very simple lightning web component, uh, but let me make sure that I get the meta XML. making it much later than version 45.0. Look at 60, which is the current prod version of Salesforce. Go to any app page. And then in our HTML. name, taxation is theft, which is our standard hello world here at Stateless Code. We will create a replacement for our hello world test. I think we need to do npm install here. Pause and let that finish. All right, so our npm install is completed. I'll hit clear. And we'll try unit to see found in the project. We will fix the project. Run 
run again, see if we have that issue cleared. It is cleared. So I'll do some quick modifications here um, since this is about kind of getting your development environment set up. I'm not going to walk through this. I'm just going to get it to its end state and then talk through it. All right, so I've got my little jest test for my little element here. I will run it. Project deploy start. And looks like my SF org open. Thought I had my org. There we go. You can go into Lightning App Builder. page Hello world Hello world taxation is theft We will just do One region should be able to hello world. Throw it in a couple times. This one will be with an A. Wrong. So I obviously didn't put any padding or um, decent design on this, but get the idea. Uh, this is a hell world hello world level thing with your developer environment. So activate it. Sure. Just accept the defaults. Save. Get that back into our project here. SF project retrieve start. got our tabs and everything else there. So uh, that concludes kind of this level of getting your development environment set up.
on Ubuntu 24.04. Uh, we've got some other stuff coming down the pipe specifically regarding Salesforce. I'm going to do a unit, uh, kind of a series on uh, testing Lightning Web Components with Jest. Um, and then we'll have various uh, things here and there. I might do a um, site and community security thing. Uh, be on the lookout. Like and subscribe um, so that you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching. Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.